guys, Haley here and today I decided to make a little bit of different video than the ones I usually do. So I know there are many people who can afford to get an apple. Well, if you want an apple, go to the grocery store and you can get an apple. But if you want an apple product from the apple store, things can get a little bit expensive. So most of the population in my country, we're not rich. Just because I have an iPad and an iPhone, I recently got the AirPods, it doesn't mean that I'm rich at all. I change my phones around every three years. Mostly because this is when I'm gonna experience all the updates because changing it every single year, there are not that many updates for me. For the iPad, I literally saved all the money that people gave me for my graduation from high school. So I waited until we reach as much money as I can so I can get this iPad. The same thing happened with these AirPods. I literally saved them. I literally bought them from saved money from my past birthday. So as you can see, not everyone can afford an Apple product because Apple, it's a premium brand. Everything is good, high quality product, but it's also very expensive for the pocket of some people. So today I decided to make a video and give you cheaper alternatives of the Apple products. Quick disclaimer, this is not a fake Apple product. This is just a product from a different brand that can work as good as the Apple product, of course, because it's a little bit cheaper. You might have some limitations. You won't experience the best of the best as the Apple product. But let's be honest, sometimes they are products with different brands that actually might work exactly the same as the Apple product and you're just gonna save yourself some dollars. So right now, let's get into the video. First, we're gonna start with the iPhone. Some people love it, some people hate it, some people are okay with it, they like some stuff, they dislike some stuff, and they're the neutral people who don't care about the iPhone because they have an Android phone. Yes, there are people who really are not into iOS and they don't plan on changing their Android. And I have to say, there is nothing wrong with that. A phone is a phone as long as it does everything you want it to do. So here we're gonna pop a picture of the iPhone. I chose the iPhone 15 Pro Max because this is the highest level iPhone. And the starting price is $1,199 for 256 gigabytes. Yes, it is price. Yes, it is a high-end phone. You get the maxed out of the camera with the zoom, with the telephoto, with the wide camera. Now it has an action button. It's already USB-C, so yes, there are a lot of changes, but I believe they are cheaper alternatives to this. And one of them is the Google Pixel 7 Pro. I'm gonna pop up another picture here. So yes, believe it or not, I know, Google Pixel 7 Pro is the last generation. Now we already have an 8 Pro, but first of all, on Amazon, I took this literally two days ago, it's 50% off the price right now. So uh, why don't you go get it? I don't know for how long, like if the discount is still available, literally this picture was just two days ago, but it might be over. Also, even if you look at the original price, it's 899. Yes, this is for 128 gigabytes. I'm gonna add a hundred dollars more. Okay, 999 for 256. Imagine if this is how it goes, but still you're gonna save yourself like $200. Yes, if you want, you can get the brand new Google Pixel. It will be, pricey for you but after all it's a good android phone if you have watched the mkbhd video he has reviewed the google pixel and i might say that he, he likes the google pixel phone honestly it's not a bad android phone and the fact that you get a pro phone yes it's last generation but i believe that the updates won't be that much also google promised that there will be seven years no one known to seven years of software updates with their phone will this happen or not i can't tell you because i don't know Hopefully it's true because that means we don't have to change our phones that often just to keep up with the software updates. But I have to say that the Google Pixel Pro, it's actually a very high-end smartphone. And even though it's not iOS device, it's an Android device, I have to say that it's a very good, I would say like replacement or if you want to get a good and a slightly cheaper alternative of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Next, we have the iPad. I chose the iPad Air. Here, we got a pop up picture. This is the newest iPad Air with M2. Yes, they have rebranded. Now it's a lot more capable and faster than it used to be. It has another size of 13 inches. This one will be 11 inches. So the starter is 128 gigabytes for $599. Yes, I know it's 
equipped with the M2 chip, it can do a lot more, but still $599. And it's only the Wi Fi version. If you get the cellular, of course, you have to pay another $5,200 for that option as well. And not everyone would like to pay like $600 for a tablet. So I decided to offer you a cheaper alternative. Many people will be shocked because I love Apple and what I'm going to recommend you really might blow off someone's mind, but I'm going to pop it right here. And is this Samsung tablet, Samsung Galaxy A9 Plus. This is also 11 inches. I chose the 128 gigabytes version because you have a 64 one. So we can compare the price. Yes, it might be less than this count, but it's around $300. So compare $300 with $600, it's li literally half of the price and it's not on discount, it's how much it costs. Of course, with that much of a price difference, you can expect like that it won't be that close to the iPad Air, but you can still do pretty much of your work. It really depends on what you're doing your, with your tablet. Like if you're using as a typewriter, let's say you bought a mouse and a keyboard, you just play silly games that don't take that much hardware and software processing or you're just slightly taking some notes or drawing silly stuff, you will be the best of the best, you know? A regular tablet will do the work as long as it's responsive and it doesn't take forever to open an app. So I believe that with these characteristics, like literally this tablet, it's good enough for your needs. Of course, for some reason, I believe that the iPad, no matter which one you take, like just the iPads in general, they're the top of the tablet markets like for the past few years but this doesn't mean that there aren't good tablets out there and i believe that for the price of this samsung galaxy tablet i believe that it will do the same job as the ipad maybe not absolutely everything what you used to do but i mean a tablet is a tablet right we are moving on to headphones and i decided to pick the airpods max because they are very expensive here we're gonna pop up a picture how they look like if you don't know already these are 549 dollars yes like i've said in previous videos that it was a rumor that the second generation whenever it comes it might be cheaper than the first one but it's still a rumor we don't have a second gen so we're sticking with this but 549 dollars for these headphones i mean yes they're no canceling they look good but what can you offer so much for that much money? I haven't tried them, like, never. But, like, I mean, don't you think it's too pricey? I believe they're cheaper alternatives. And here I'm gonna pop up my next one. These are the Beats Pro. Of course, if you're not familiar with this, Apple used to sell Beats before they developed their own AirPods Max. And that's why they have Apple's H1 chip inside. And they are, like... $300. Yes, you're saving $250 by getting these wireless headphones, which are also noise canceling. And they look pretty good, I have to say. I really like the design. Of course, it really depends on like how you like your ear cup to be. Some people like them to be circular, other people like them to be maybe rectangular or different shapes. So that's also like a say a matter when you're getting headphones. But I really believe that if you can say so many like, why don't you get cheaper? And I believe that the Beats are very good headphones. I have seen people testing them out throughout the years. And yes, I have heard slight complaints, but most of the time, or at least from the people that I watched reviewing them, they were very positive reviews. So I think it won't be a bad idea if you consider getting the AirPods Max and just switch to Beats Pro. After all, it's a closer touch-up with the Apple and their ecosystem, because after all, they have Apple's chips inside have the apple watch i chose the regular apple watch series 9 here i'm gonna pop a picture so if you choose it to be with aluminium you pay 399 dollars if you choose stainless steel you pay 699 dollars but it comes with gps and cellular automatically so let's say that you chose the aluminium okay you pay 399 now you have to choose if you want the 41 millimeter or the 45 millimeter because if you chose the bigger screen you pay a little bit more money and if you choose even to have cellular we're already going into 500 dollars just for an apple watch yes it can do a lot and it's well known that the apple watch works the best if you pair it with an iphone or any other apple products you can use or you can max out all the features that it has but there are cheaper alternatives which 
obviously won't do exactly the same as the Apple Watch. They'll have some limitations. But the basic things they can do here, I'm gonna pop a picture. This is from Amazon. This is an early sincere Apple Watch from 2024 for $107. It can work both on Android and iOS. So you can get two in one. It's Bluetooth, it can do calls, probably can work as messages as well. But I mean, look at the price. You can tell the difference where they will be. But again, I have seen most of the people buying their Apple Watches because they're going to work out. Literally, one girl told me like, I bought it because I want my alarm to sound off from the Apple Watch, not from my phone. And I was like, oh, okay, I guess. I would never buy an Apple Watch just specifically for this reason, but people are people, you know, they buy stuff for weird reasons. But I have to say that if you're doing very basic tasks, and if you only want it as a step tracker, maybe to answer your calls and basic, basic stuff, I believe that this Apple Watch, Apple Watch, can save you some money and literally do the same. Hopefully it's as responsive as the original Apple Watch. But I mean, for this price, you can play much, but I still believe that it can get you to whatever you want to do with it. And again, it works both iOS and Android. So isn't this a win-win or say double win? Last but not least, we have the MacBook. I chose the MacBook Pro because this is the highest end and currently newest Apple laptop. So if I'm gonna put a picture, this is the iPad Pro. And the cheapest one you can get is for 1,599. It's 14 inch M3, not the Pro, not the Max, just the regular M3. It has a core CPU, 10 core GPU, a gigabyte of RAM, 512 solid state drive. So basically, yes, you're getting a good laptop, but I believe that for this price, you can find a laptop that has more storage at least. Personally, I don't know if someone else is like me, but when I'm looking for a laptop, I always wanted to have at least one terabyte. Maybe even if I'm not editing videos or have a game that's like 30 gigabytes from my storage, I still believe that one terabyte is like enough or at least the minimum. If I ever change my laptop, I will go for two terabytes. I don't know why, I just want to have more storage in case something happens and I ever need more storage. But for 1,599, you can find more or at least for less price, you can get more. So I found this laptop right here. Yes, it's a Dell laptop and I have heard many good reviews about these laptops. There are many IT companies in my country that are using Dell laptops as their working laptops because they are just so happy with the performance of this laptop. I know people close to me that have Dell laptops and I never complained about them even a single bit. They only might have changed to a newer Dell because this was just an older generation. But yes, there are many good reviews. Also, for this price, you get one terabyte storage. You're upgraded to Windows 11 Pro. You have 15.6 inches while the MacBook that I showed you had only 14 inches. Of course, it's an Intel processor, but let's not forget that Apple also used Intel chips before they switched to Apple Silicon. So they were still part of the Intel family. So basically for less money, you are getting more. And I will say Dell laptops are not bad. My laptop is Lenovo IdeaPad. I had it for three years already. And I have to say there is absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's responsive it's working well like it's not laggy buggy or any problems to have with it so yes maybe it's not as good as the macbook i never tried one but i have to say that i'm happy and this dell laptop is actually a few hundred dollars cheaper so you might consider it because after all you, again it depends on what you're gonna do with your laptop of course if you're a gamer you might need a gaming laptop but I have to say that this one will serve just as well as the MacBook. You get more storage and you pay less. Okay, guys, that'll be the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below which of these Apple cheaper alternatives was your favorite and which one would you consider getting? Yes, I will say that maybe the Apple Watch won't be ideal as the original one. But after all, hey, you're paying like literally $300 off. So you can expect the best of the best or to be that close. But after all, a deal is a deal. And let's be honest, Apple products are amazing. They're great. They're high level, high quality, maybe the same as the newest Samsung products. But 
Not everyone can afford the best of the best, okay? We have to look at cheaper alternatives that are closer to the high-end products, which can serve us well and are just ready to do our daily tasks with us. But that'll be the video. Hope you enjoyed. Please smack that like button. I can like this video, share it with friends. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, turn on the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. And I'm gonna see you next time. Bye!